air over hydraulic power unit. Compressed air goes there. Just push to there you go. All right, so that's connected. Yep. All right, this is a quick connect coupler, screw connect coupler. That's the mail there. All right, grab that. That's the female on the press there. That's the dust cap. Pull off the dust cap. Okay, the first thing you need to do, the handle is down and lock this valve, which is the relief valve, needs to be closed off. All right, if that valve is closed off, we're good to go. Make sure that handle is disconnected. Then we're going to connect the male into the female. You push down and then lift up with the sleeve and screw the sleeve on. Lift up. Push, lift the sleeve up. Turn. Other way. Okay, make sure that's fully locked. All right. So now, that's it, that's it. That's it. So now if you press down there where it says pump, just my foot or with your foot. That's actually moving in. Let it go. So when you let go, it'll hold. But when you press here for release, it will release oil back into the pump. So press release. All the way. That's it and the pump and the crimp is now opening back up you can you can actually let go and it'll stay released so that's now ready for the next crimp press again down on the pump okay let it go press release And that's opening back up so it's as simple as that if you want to use the hand pump wait for this to come all the way back we disconnect this coupler other way now lift that off yep. put the dust cap on it this valve remains closed for pumping so this is a two-stage pump so when you pump by hand it supplies high volume of oil it reaches the when it starts to actually pressurize that it will move to the second low flow high pressure to return the same as before, but you actually open this valve up. To start crimping again, close the valve. Doesn't need to just snug, doesn't need to be super tight, and then you can start the process again by hand.